the front page of the Wall Street Journal. I think Journal it's a great here. story. Hedge fund star dims and investors both. This is a story in today's Wall Street Journal outlining the hard times for a, a longtime guest of Squawk Box, actually, David Einhorn, uh, Greenlight Capital. The paper reporting that Greenlight's assets have shrunk to about $5.5 billion in assets from a reported $12 billion back in 2014. They spoke to more than a dozen former investors and employees and other sources who they say are threatening to exit if the fund's results don't rebound. People familiar with the fund attribute Einhorn's troubles to sticking to value stocks over high growth stocks and keeping clients at a distance. One investor raised concerns about his divorce and his sleeping habits. Einhorn told investors earlier this year that he had been shorting stocks like Amazon and Athena Health and Netflix, obviously all of them uh, went up. We should say uh, the story says he has a sleeping disorder, which keeps him, which which has him wake up he, at he three o'clock in the morning. He naps in the middle of the afternoon. And then he's, and he, he can't naps stay in, awake for meetings. Naps in the afternoon. Um, but what's so remarkable about? It, I mean, they have people on the record saying my patience is wearing thin. Um, this is unbelievable. Others who say all sorts of things. The 5.5 billion, by the way. Um, and by the way, we should say Gregory Zuckerman wrote this piece. We've had him on the show many times. Really, it sounds like there's maybe only about $3.5 billion of in outside there, money. Of outside money, yeah. because it's about a billion of his own money mm -hmm. and another billion from the reinsurance uh, right. fund, which he controls. So. Wait a minute. He wakes up at 3 in the morning and, work. and naps in the afternoon. You know somebody like that? I'm not saying now, is that a a really, that. What, what does it say that that happens to a person who happens to do that? I, uh, I, I don't know. Their performance goes no, down. I'm going to say that. Okay, here's the <laughs> thing, Andrew. I remember when he was hot, and this was like five years ago yes. or so. And I remember reading some he of the stuff. He up to 58% at one point. But some of the stuff that he was doing, he, he, he was like... He loved gold at like 1800 he after. Loved, he loved Sun Edison. I mean, he, which and, 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 and you know, I don't, I don't try to, you know, I don't manage money. I mean, I used to, I was a broker right. for a while, but I, I, they, some of his trades looked really stupid to me back then. So I, I don't, I don't know. So apparently the fund dropped 7.7% in June is down 18.7% uh, for the year. Of course, the S&P 500. We, we, know up where, 2%. We, we know where that is relative yeah. to what's going on. You know on what? Here. Past performances but they, never are any guarantee. They have remarkable of, of course, sure. This is a guy, Peter Weiss, is a Boston investor. He says he's stubborn. He'll never admit he's made a mistake. Just makes me crazy. Then That's Einhorn's, exactly the reason why you shouldn't invest with him then. Then Einhorn <laughs> says in his statement uh, when we recognize a mistake, we exit the position and own up to our quarter, in, yeah. a, in our quarterly. I mean, it's, it's a lot of. Yep. Back and forth, and people. Who knows? It's maybe very rare where you get people who you know, go on the record. There were articles written about Ackman, and then he came back. Who knows? Maybe this is the bottom for this guy. Or, or um, yeah. This one was sure. fascinating. This is a, another investor says, if someone usually goes through a divorce, I usually get out. I made an exception with David, but I made a mistake. He has to be distracted. I'm convinced that's 30 to 40 percent of why uh, the stock is down. It, All right. Not the stock, but the performance the is down. All right. They well, say, by the way, we should say David Einhorn says that he is completely and utterly focused. On okay, good. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.